John, we've seen from Lindy and some of the players talking about how there's a better defensive effort from all five skaters on the ice. What have you guys seen over this last stretch of games, particularly against Calgary and Colorado? Yeah, um, you know, we were able to, you know, kind of figure out our, you know, D-zone system a little better, uh, be more connected, be more on the same page, you know, have a few more meetings and, um, you know, communicating as well. This penalty kill has really been improving, holding Calgary off the board on all three power play opportunities last night. What's improving with that group? Um, same thing, really. Um, you know, we struggled, obviously, in the beginning of the year. And then, you know, once you get guys, you know, on the same page, you know, it clicks a lot smoother. And we're seeing more players coming back. Brendan Smith in his first practice back. Now that this group is getting healthier and people are able to go to more of their roles that they might be set in, what can we expect out of the Devils moving forward? Yeah, hopefully, you know, um, you know, definitely more consistency within our game. You know, we've seen that in the last couple of games here. And um, hopefully starting a lot more wins together, too. We hear a lot about, you know, practice, how you want to play in games, and the past couple practices have been very intense. What have you seen, especially out today? Yeah, same thing, you know, battling every practice, um, competing, you know, game-like situations for sure, and, you know, um, you know, it's been translating too. So, you know, that's uh, what we want to stick with. We've seen from that fourth line last night, you guys had eight hits leading that team. You guys were bringing a little bit of a physical edge. What are you seeing out of you, Nosek, and Lazar Pera? Um, I think when everybody comes back, it um, obviously gives your forward group a little bit more depth. We have guys that unfortunately didn't get to play last night that have been playing really good hockey too, and um, that's the game we try and bring. Uh, personally, I, I don't even think I really loved our game last night, but um, a chance to get out there and, and, like you said, be physical, that's what we're trying to do. And just we've heard that there's a better defensive effort from all five skaters on the ice in these last few games. What is leading to that greater defense? Well, Vitex made us look good, which is so important. Um, we've changed a couple things up, and just the reality of the league and the way it is coming down the stretch, you're going to have to find a way to play better defense, and um, whether that's desperation, blocking shots, really could be so many different things, just keeping the puck out of your net. What about connectiveness, now that this group is having some of the more, um, you're in your roles that you guys were set to be in, is that helping with the connectiveness? Yeah, I think anytime you're outside of it, you're... A little bit uncomfortable it makes things harder on you so everybody's um, kind of in their spot now and knows where they should be so it makes it easier for sure. I know people were talking about that it was disappointing that loss last night but you can just watch a practice like that it's intense the past few practices you guys have really been hard winning battles fighting what are you seeing out of the practice effort that can help translate in these games? Well it's tough because we don't get a ton of practice time anymore and even when we do get to practice it's obviously not that long so um, it takes a whole group to get everything we can out of a good hard 30 minutes and hopefully trans into the same thing tomorrow. Long film session this morning kind of made things uh, a little bit delayed in practice today? Yeah uh, all uh, structure not all uh, obviously positive things but it's stuff as a group that we have to go over and address. It is something that we saw from that fourth line last night a lot of physicality eight hits between you Nosik and Bastion now that people are able to play more of their roles and there's a little bit more depth in that four group is that the result that we should be seeing with this Devils team moving forward? Yeah I think so I mean you could probably count on you know one hand how many games we've had kind of our fully healthy forward group. Um, so us to have a chance to get together and you know, we all kind of play that similar style. Um, you said eight hits between us. I mean it's probably between those two. I don't think I really ran into many people out there. Um, but you no, know, that's again chemistry is going to happen. We're going to build on that. I think we do a better job of getting in the O zone and kind of generating those chances. But that's good. That's what's going to happen. I mean we we got outstanding depth here, um, and you can plug and play players all over the place. But I like the identity that we have. You know what you're going to get every time we step on the ice. When it comes to the defensive effort, it's not just on the goaltender. It's not just on the defenseman. It's every skater out there needs to buy in. And we've heard some of the players say that they feel the buy in is there and it's more connected. What are you seeing with the defensive effort from all skaters? Yeah, I, I mean, kind of behind the scenes, we've made a, a you know, major overhaul of you know our, kind of our system work, so it's still a work in progress. We're doing a, you know, a pretty good job of learning on the fly. Um, but again, mistakes are going to happen and whatnot, and you got to bear down, you got to be strong in front of your nets and whatnot. But like you said, it, it takes you know a full six-man unit. You know, we can't leave our goalies you know, to hang out to dry there. Um, everyone's got to do their job, and if the breakdown does happen, we got to know how to react and how to you know bail out a teammate once in a while. I know the penalty kill didn't start the season how you all wanted, but there's been a lot of hard work in that, and the results are being seen. I mean, huge penalty kills last night in the last couple of games. What are you seeing out of the PK? Yeah, again, just assertiveness. Like you said, our D zone, kind of picking our spots, understanding of what to do and where to go. And look at that game last 
last night. Um, you know, a big four-minute penalty kill, and they kind of brought our team back to life. Uh, big goal for us. Obviously, when you kill a penalty, that's not your first and foremost your goal, but the crowd got into it. You know, we worked hard to get it done, and unfortunately, we weren't able to, you know, bang home another one. But, you know, we're trending in the right direction. But we know each and every game we play, it's, you know, a different power play unit coming at you, so we've got to be ready. You went up against a goaltender who was really strong last night, so it makes sense that not all these great opportunities went in, but how do you keep pushing the pace and maybe even get that goalie off his game a little bit if you are running up against a hot goaltender? Yeah, I mean, traffic. That's you know, Goalies can't stop where they can't see most of the time. So like you said, he was feeling it last night, but the onus is on us forwards uh, to get to that net, kind of take away his eyes. Um, you know, We have enough skill to, to make those plays and kind of get back to that attack mentality. Um, you, you see it happens here and there, but I think if we get more consistent with that, then our overall game will round out. You talked about a, a systematic kind of overhaul there. I mean, what, what was almost the, the spark for that? Was it the injuries, and, and what does that look like uh, for, for the players uh, since... Well, you guys try and digest that while watching the games. Uh, again, no, it's just different reads here and there, different responsibilities, uh, a couple more handoffs, and kind of you know, owning your ice in your your areas, I guess you can say, and a little bit more of responsibility for the centermen moving all over the ice. But uh, I think everyone's you know used to it. They've played it before in the past, and, and again, we're learning as we go. We were going on video each and every day, and today was a very good meeting that we actually did with split groups. We went in, then us forwards went in, and kind of, you know, you know, put a ball in it and bring it all together to see how we can be more effective because this time of year, you know, things tighten up a lot, so we got to, you know, hold up our end of the bargain and, and make a push. Do you think there's more of a commitment to help each other out? Because like you said, mistakes happen. Nothing's going to be perfect, but if you can have someone understand and slot in quickly to help minimize the damage, do you think that's been more of a commitment recently? Yeah, absolutely. And every day we're, we're always preaching communication. Even if it's the wrong read, if you communicate and you know that you know we're making the wrong read, we're gonna do it together. It's still gonna be hard to get through. So uh, again, we got a mature group of guys here that are willing to learn, willing to you know do what's necessary in these situations. And like you said, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know you fight through it, you battle, you compete, and sometimes you live to fight another day. And, and with that maturity, I'm sure comes a lot of honest conversations. I mean, what do these kind of you know long, longer film sessions, longer uh, you know internal kind of conversations look like? Yeah, and I think. You know, when everyone thinks about the video sessions, it's kind of like, you know, single eight guys here. Right. That's never the case. Um, it's always, you know, the message for a whole. It's a it's teaching clip, like you said. Um, situational stuff where that is there, that back and forth communication where you have questions, you know, the, the floor is ours. We, we pipe up, we, we give us our two cents and whatnot. So being able to work with the coaching staff on that, it, it's been awesome. And, and that's how you're going to learn, you know. You know, practice time is kind of a dime a dozen nowadays. Uh, even when we go up there, it's you know, kind of just get the legs moving. So the film rooms, it's big, but we're never singling guys out. We're, you know, we're all pulling on the same rope. Lindy, we've seen from all these practices just high-intensity battle, compete, this group wanting to get better and use the limited practice time. How can they help use this to translate into this next game against Carolina? Well, I mean, obviously we made some mistakes last night, so we're uh, a couple drills again with uh, emphasize the areas that – you know, we got hurt by. So, you know, with new lines coming to the lineup, uh, guys getting used to each other, uh, I thought a uh, good day again. Now that you are more healthy, people can play their roles, and we saw that Bastion, Lazar, Nosek, eight hits combined last night. They brought a little bit more of an edge. What were you seeing out there, performance, and what can they do to even take it further? Yeah, you know, if you look at their their penalty killing, I thought it was real good. Physicality was good in, inside the game, you know, late in the game. Uh, laser taking face-offs, you know, won us a big draw in the offensive zone. Um, you know, I think uh, wall battles and being really hard to play against. If you look at the the last couple of games, those guys have they've given us all that, uh, you know, we need to help win a hockey game. Lindy, is, is Brendan going to be ready for? Uh, Brendan will not be ready, no. How is he doing so, so far? I mean, first practice day, um, got through it good. You know, he skated before and then got into practice. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, we're day-to-day -day with him now. The limited practice ability sometimes, especially later in the year, how important are those video sessions and kind of going over things and talking and, and teaching moments, if you will? Uh, I, I mean, a lot of great conversation uh, between, you know, players, coaches, um, looking at uh, situations. Um, you know, basically what we did before before we played Colorado, uh, did the same thing. Kind of split the groups up, though, today. Dealt with the defense on their own and the forwards on their own. Uh, I think uh, an atmosphere where, you know, even uh, defense, young defensemen feel uh, a little bit better about, you know, adding what, what they what they saw or what they're reacting to inside the game. How are you seeing communication help this team be better defensively and step up when someone makes a mistake? 
Well, I mean, it's just the layers of defense that we're really working on. Um, so, you know, we've made some adjustments, obviously, these the last three or four games. I, I think we've seen some good results. Um, you know, there's some player, a couple of players playing catch up that, you know, weren't in the lineup. Uh, so day was good practice day for it. And that penalty kill continues to improve a big showing last night. What's the main thing that's helped fuel them to be more successful? You know, I think uh, being aggressive and, and everybody, when we are aggressive, everybody is. I think the, you know, we needed a big shorthanded goal and, uh, you know, Nico and Bradder went out there and got that for us. Uh, you look at the, uh, uh, killing and momentum that it can create, whether it's just a good kill, but the shorthanded goal was was big for us at that time. And you think, uh, and I know you don't really talk goalies much, but uh, Dawes might be ready, you know, to, to go tomorrow. I know you, you said yesterday. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a decision. You know, usually we we let our goalie know by by late afternoon. So, um, yeah, we feel another good practice, and we know that we got back to back games coming up. So. Uh, we'll look at it, and then we'll make a decision. And where do you see Vitek's confidence after a game like, like that last night? Vitek, uh, he, he's been able to shake off a tough games, so um, I, I don't worry about his confidence at all. Now that you are getting more players back, and or even someone like Dawes who hasn't seen a game in a while, how do you keep them ready to be able to jump back in? Well, you know, again, it's practice. Um, a, a lot of the guys, you know, do a lot of work uh, away from practice. Uh, the days we don't practice, they're, they're in here skating and working on stuff, so you got to keep them ready that way.